to throw in the end zone. It's finally fall, and what better way to bring in autumn than with a little college football? Kristen Keith with Wendell Barnhouse here to preview Week 5 in the Big 12. It's another big Thursday night matchup for the league when Oklahoma State hosts Texas Tech at 630. What do you expect from these up-tempo offenses? Well, Kristen, frankly, I don't know what to expect. I know that's a big shock, but I think there's a lot of mystery in this game. What do we know about these teams? They played six games. And you can argue that Oklahoma State has only played one good game, and that was in the season opener against Florida State. Texas Tech has switched defensive coordinators in midseason. That just, just adds a little bit more uncertainty. Dax Garman for Oklahoma State starting just his second game at quarterback. Texas Tech's offense and quarterback Davis Webb has been inconsistent so far. I think the only thing you can count on is I think there are going to be a lot of points. That brings up our stat of the week. Oklahoma State has won six of the last seven games with Texas Tech, and the games typically have been high scoring. The average final score, 43 to 28. Speaking of high scoring on Saturday, Baylor will finally be tested when they play in Ames against conference opponent Iowa State. Other than KD Cannon, what are the storylines with this matchup? Well, last year in Waco, Baylor put up 71 points on the Cyclones. Now, if the Bears can score half that in Ames Saturday night, I really wonder if Iowa State can score more than 35 against Baylor's improved defense. Now, who knows how much we'll see my man, KD Cannon, because Baylor should get at least two of its starting wide receivers back from injury. I think the Cyclones are going to need some game-changing turnovers and more production from the running backs if they're going to have a chance in this one. Here's a look at the complete schedule for Week 5. Well, here's a nugget for you as far as that Kansas and Texas game. There's only been one other time that Kansas and Texas have played a Big 12 game where KU had the better overall record. That was 1997 when the Jayhawks were 5-4 and four and the Longhorns were 3-6 and six going into their game. Now, K-State uh, should bounce back at home against UTEP and TCU should win the Iron Skillet game with SMU and that would set up a huge home game with Oklahoma next week. That's it for Week 5. Enjoy the first fall weekend of football and we'll see you right back here next week.